Okay, so today we're going to solve this uh, paper, this exercise from paper four, um, summer 2020 uh, from Cambridge ICT, um, ICT's exam. And uh, it's a JavaScript exercise. What we need to do is um, progress bar with, uh, so when we click on the um, upload button, uh, you get a progress bar formed by eight images, bar one to bar eight, which we have on the, in the same folder, uh, bar one to bar eight. And then below that, we have a percentage of the amount the bar is filled. So, um, of course, the, the files, the images have to be on, in the same folder as the HTML file. Um, so it first asks us to open the file in a browser. It's a good idea to uh, uh, open it and see what it does. So we'll do that and see what we get. So we have all this done for us. Uh, we have where we should get the progress bar and we have the button, but it does nothing. Okay. So the next thing that it says is uh, open the file in a text editor, Dreamweaver, whatever. Um, I, I normally use a text editor, so we'll open it there. Okay, and we have to take a look at what we have here. Let's see what the question paper says. We have to finish the code to display the bar images and the percentages. We have two placeholders, ID display and ID percent for us to put the display of the bars and the percent. Um, we have a count variable, the interval timer and the timer function, uh, which are already included and set to count up every half a second. Um, so, uh, let's go, let's see uh, what it does. So take a look. Uh, so we have first a style here, then we have the script uh, the script consists of a function called con countdown, a function called timer, and as it says there, countdown initial initializes the variable count uh, at minus one, uh, and then um, uh, it calls uh, it calls the function timer every five hundred uh, milliseconds or every. Uh, every half a second, as it says here. Uh, and the function timer right now, the only thing it does is uh, increases the variable count in one. So if it has reached nine in this case, uh, it uh, sets, uh, it will stop the, the timer. And then it says clearly that the rest of our conditional statements have to be set here. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, in the bottom, it should call Countdown, yeah. So count, uh, the, when we press the button, uh, on click, uh, when you do the click on the bottom, it goes to countdown. Countdown starts at minus one, calls timer, and timer uh, starts at one. Sorry, minus one plus one is zero, starts at zero. Uh, and then it will always check if it's uh, more than eight. Uh, if it's not, then it will do whatever you tell it to do. Okay, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is, is display the images, then we'll display the percentages. For the images, we have two solutions, okay? The first one and the fastest one would be to use the variable count that we have there. Uh, we're going to put the, we have to place the images where it says display here. And as you see, the, the display ID uh, already sets the the image uh, the blank image okay so here this is what we have to be uh, changing by JavaScript we have to alter this source uh, field and change it for um, with all the the images that we're going to have first the bar one then the bar two etc etc okay so we can do that easily if we uh, use the the variable count. Uh, this in this way, okay. So uh, document. So we're going to write get element by ID display, and we're going to change the source of of that element and change it 
uh, with the word for the file bar, whatever the count is going to be, and then done PNG. So the first time it will be bar 0.png, second uh, time it will be bar 1.png, bar 2, etc. etc. So we're getting the element by ID display, changing the source to the file name, and the file name is going to change as the variable count changes. Okay, so this is one way to do it. Um, and as you see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 stops. It works. Okay. I will leave you, I'm going to leave you another option. Okay, so I'll comment this and leave you another option, which is using the switch. Okay, so switch, uh, and we're going to um, use the variable count. Okay. Okay, so let's look at the switch, switch count. That's our opening closing tag, case with the colons, what is going, what will happen on every case, a break. On everyone except the last one that should be working see done okay so that's the two options that you have you can either use one line for the and, and use a variable count or just a switch okay so that's the part of the progress bar done uh, we can they uh, in the uh, exam they said annotate your code with appropriate programmers comments so every time you comment you do what here you can say um this will change the image according to count okay and now what we have to do is also add the um, the the, um, the percentage. Okay, so how are we going to add the percentage? The key here is that it says that it's going to fill in eight steps. Okay, so one divided by eight. Okay, so each one is going to... Um, each, uh, each one, each image is going to be 12.5%. 12.5% multiplied by 8 will give us the 100%. Okay? So, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to display the percentage where, where it says, um, where it says percent. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to put, uh, we're going to use, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write with the document get element by ID in the ID percentage. I'm going to write within inner HTML the percentage which is going to be 12.5 times the variable count. So let's see if that works. Okay, that works, but as you see, we have decimals there, and we shouldn't have decimals. We didn't have decimals here. Okay, so let's check. What we can do is we can use a function in JavaScript called math.count, which uh, does uh, mathematical operations. Uh, sorry, that math, and then we, we use round. Math uses mathematical operations. We round out that value. Refresh, and that's it. Oh, I forgot the percentage. So uh, it's going to be that, and a percentage there, sign. So we refresh, click on that. That's perfect. Okay, so we just have to comment here, uh, write percentage each step.
character is one eighth equals twelve point five percent. Okay. And as you see, this works. And that was the complete task. We just have to save the version of the page in HTML format as progress bar, whatever. So we just we will just save this as uh, as the progress bar. I am just going to show you that if we remove the the, the switch and use the other option. It works the same. Okay. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can ask me uh, in the comments of the video.